hey guys it's leah the plug here back again with another video for you guys as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes today i'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of editing apps that i use for my youtube videos and i think would be great for you guys to use also these are apps that i use for editing my videos and also editing some of my intros so just stay tuned and don't worry they're all free and yeah let's just get right into the video okay so we're gonna go into creativity that's where i have all my editing apps so i have six apps that i would like to show you guys that i use mostly so the first app that i use is vllo so we're gonna go on this little clip that i already added okay so as you guys can see at the side here it says text you could add text so i'm just gonna add this little text right here which I already have it added. So these are just like the recent one that I've been using. This is what I did already. But as you scroll down, you guys could choose like different fonts, different style, and then you could edit them. But like how I already have that little text above, I'm just gonna click on it. And then you could click on font. And as you guys can see, it comes with a lot of fonts right here. And these on the other side that says bookmark, these are the ones that I mostly use. Let's see. So yeah, the one that I'm using right now, it's called, let's see, BD Cartoon Shout, the regular one. That's what I did. You guys could edit the text by clicking on style, change the text color, the outline color, the background. You could add shadow and the font scale so yeah there's a lot of things you guys could do you could add animations to the text also and yeah then you guys could even add images so to add images you're going to click on pip picture in picture so right here at the side as you guys can see it says images videos but to get the video part you'll have to pay for it which is for which uh, i don't really know how much it costs in dollars but in euros it costs 4.99 so yeah you'll have to pay for that feature but you guys could add images so as you guys can see above here where it says graphics by the plug that's an image so what you're going to do to add an image you're going to click on that and then you guys could add any image of your choice i'm just going to add like this little snapchat for example and then i'm going to scroll it down and first say i want to place it somewhere i'm just going to place it like that so you guys could add image on this and it also has like little transition so for say if i want to like split it you guys could split it and then you guys could add like animation not animations you click on that little thing in the middle and then you guys could like add little transitions in between not all of them will will be unlocked but most of them will be it's just like the most high quality ones won't be um, available if you don't pay but if you pay it will be available to you like you have like graphics the advanced one and also the basic ones so it's gonna do i'm not gonna play the song because the video has a copyrighted song in it so i'm not gonna play it so now i'm gonna just i'm just gonna go back because i want everything to go back into place so if you want to pay for the app i'm just gonna delete this little clip in the middle so to add a video you're gonna click on video and i'm just gonna add a new intro that i made for one of my clients which is this right here i'm gonna fix it properly like that then i'm gonna bring it down in the middle like that great so i'm just gonna turn mute the sound because i don't want it to play the song and then i'm just gonna add like a little animation to it so what i'm gonna do is click on animation and i'm gonna click zoom in to zoom in at the same time as the phone so it should be like this as you guys can see so i'm gonna delete this and i'm gonna go back i'm just gonna go back to the previous video that i had okay great so this is how it was i'm gonna leave that like that so that's basically all the stuff you guys could do on here you guys could even add stickers you're so you're gonna click on stickers you guys could add like motion stickers and in here has a lot of pretty aesthetic motion stickers so as you guys can see at the bottom here it has some cute ones not all of them will be available if you if you don't pay 
but most of them will be some cute ones also you guys could use like this is super cute this one follow me little hearts there are so many stuff you guys could use yeah so subscribe <laughs> don't forget to do that so yeah this is my first app this is the main app that i use to edit my videos so now we're just gonna come out of here now we're gonna pass on to the second app the second app is imovie here is where i add my songs i think i showed you guys how to do that in my previous video and yeah here is where i just add my songs so yeah all you have to do is click on the plus sign and you click on video and you look for the song that you're looking for in your gallery you know you scroll and once you found it i'm just gonna click on any video and i'm just gonna do like i'm taking out a song so i'm just gonna click on this video right here and then you're gonna click on the three little dots at the side and you're gonna add audio only so it's gonna add and then you guys can like edit the audio to where you want it to start by closing it and fixing it how you want it to be place it back upwards and stuff like that you could even click on the video you could split it add like little transitions there aren't much transition but you could if you're just doing like a little vlog you know vlog doesn't have much of much of transition so you guys could use iMovie for that and yeah that's basically what you guys could do you guys could add like text also click on the text okay i'm gonna edit and then i'm gonna write something like hello it's me leah so as you guys can see that's it right there so yeah i'm gonna erase that so you guys could also add text and there's a couple of like filters you guys could add too but i don't really like the little filters that the that font tool comes with it's not really pretty i don't really like it as you guys can see above here these are not uh, the type you would like to use so yeah as you guys see this is a cartoon one it's kind of cute but i'm not really feeling it so yeah i'm just gonna go back to the beginning erase everything so yeah that's basically it for iMovie it's a great app but it doesn't have much to do but it's great for vlogging and also adding music to your youtube videos so yeah done it's just a basic app but it's really cool so the next app we have is a video leap so i haven't well before i paid for it but now i haven't paid for it and now it's asking to sign up so i'm gonna continue with google i'll be back decline offer so as you guys can see everything is getting expensive on this app but there are some things you guys still can do on this app so i'm just gonna add like an intro that i've been doing so let's see okay i'm gonna add the outro add to project so this is the outro for the video this is piece of it so let's see you guys could add text i don't think there's much layers you guys could add without paying but you guys could add text here i'm not gonna add the text so i'm gonna delete that you guys could edit it how you want to you guys could add stickers i think yeah there are some a couple of effects you guys could use like this one right here as you guys can see i'm gonna delete that and glitches also you guys could add like a little glitch to your video so i'm gonna delete that and yeah that's basically it for this app right here you guys could make intros on here too just like vllo and yeah so i'm gonna delete this and i'm gonna come out of here now the fourth app that i'll be showing you guys is called CapCut, which is my favorite i think it's good for editing like little intros not big clips but small clips so this is where i make my intros this is where i mostly made all of my intros all of my clients intros here's where i made the outro and intro so as you guys can see on here you guys have a lot of stuff to do you guys could add over layers which is only up to six over layers you guys could add like pictures and videos free 
you guys could add text i don't really use text on here like i make my own text on fonto then i bring it here and add it as an overlay so yeah you guys could add text how you want here you guys could add like little stickers which is super cute like there's so many stickers you guys could add on here and i really love it like oh this one is super cute like there's so many stuff you guys could do on here you guys could add filters which i won't be needing i don't use filters and you guys could add effects there's so many effects like i use so many effects on here here is where i get like the cute little butterflies and all that stuff you guys could add like transitions and yeah you guys could do a lot of stuff on here so i really like this i really love this app this is my favorite app to make my intros i think you guys could even add like audio you could extract the audio from any video so here is good to add audios also it will take all the the audio out of the video of whatever video song that you downloaded and it'll go directly to your intro so this is a great app i really love it now the fifth app that i'll be showing you guys is InShot. InShot, i'm gonna click on new and here is another intro that i made for a client so i'm gonna fix the size by clicking on canvas and i'm gonna put it at the youtube size you know you guys could edit like cute vlogs on here right if vlogs on here too as you can see it had like this little watermark at the corner it's not really visible but i'm gonna click on it and you guys could remove it and it'll remove but on here you guys could add like little text cute stickers you know not as cute as CapCut, but there are some good stickers on there you guys could add like pictures and videos on here to make intros also you guys could crop the size on how you want it to be add you could flip pictures and stuff like that do a lot of stuff on here so yeah i don't really use this app as much but it is a great app i did show you guys how to make an intro on this app so you guys could also make intros on this app as well so i'm gonna come out of here and then the last app that i'll be showing you guys is called vn this is a new app i never used it before but we're gonna discover it together i heard that it was a good app so yeah i'm planning on using it so that's why i decided to show you guys and i heard that it's free and i did try to test it out and i think it's when i say when i was trying to save a video it did save it without any watermark so new project we're gonna add one of my clients a video i'm just gonna add this there are some cute filters on here that you guys could use I'm gonna go back original then you guys could like speed up the duration of the video or slow it down effect okay so i muted the video once i did that i'm gonna go back on effects so if you guys want to add like little cute effects to your video you know in between this is really a dope app to do that this is cool i really like the effects on here so yeah you guys could add effects you could trim it split it and do all sorts of thing on here okay let's split it and let's see the transition we're gonna click on that little plus in between we don't have much transitions but they could do yeah this is a cool app so this is a cool app you guys could use to make intros also and i guess for it's good for editing videos like your vlog other types of videos so yeah this is my last app yeah hopefully this video helped you guys make sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on notification bell so you guys can know whenever your girl posts okay and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video